All right, hello there. This is gonna be a quick video showing you guys how I have been installing all these mods so I don't get asked at a later date, which I'm sure I will anyway. Um, and I will also be showing you guys how to uh, manually download and install mods, especially the ones that require it um, specifically that don't, um, are, that are not supported by this Vortex, the mod manager for Nexus. But you're going to want to come to the nexusmods.com, right? It doesn't matter where you go on it. Um, but it's as easy as, uh, oh shit. Scrolling down to the bottom of the page, right? So if you're on the mod page at all, scroll to the bottom, say Vortex, learn more. Download latest version, blah blah blah. Download now. And this is what most, most of the, almost all the mods found on this site will be supported by this. So it just makes it nice and easy to um, get done for yourself. Slow download. I'm just showing you the guys that already have it installed, right? And th these are some of the mods that I have going as you can see. Uh, so it's asking me to save my videos. We're not going to do that. I save it to my desktop, but that's up to you guys where you want to do that. Um, I don't really need to be do doing this again, but... So once you get it downloaded, it's going to ask you like where you want to be installing these files at, and that is depending on where you have your game installed. So if you use Steam, it'll be your program files, or program files 86, right, depending on what Windows you're using, then Steam, then Steam apps, and uh, Common, then the game, and then the modules, right, so show you a complete path here. All right? Low disk, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Mountain Blade, Bannerlord, modules, and then you got all your different mods that you could have here. Um, and I would make a shortcut to this now uh, if you're smart because um, we're going to be coming back to this a lot later in the future, I'm sure. Anyway. So you save it. Open it up. You get to watch the painfully slow process here. Of course, I am running a million things at once, though. So it's just straight up not even going to ask me for for all where I want it. But anyway, it will it will give you a prompt for where you want to do this at, for where you might be pulling files at, and that is the path you would use. Steam, Steam apps, all that kind of shit. Unless you have done it, um, you've gotten the game from another source. Many places you can, and many other ways you can do that as well. But that you'll have to know where you've installed that from if you want to be playing with that, especially if it's torrented. You're going to have to figure out where you've installed that at. Um, but that's, and, and that's about it, dude. And you, you can go any other mod you want to get after that. Right? You just go to mods, 
click on any of these ones, you know, you can see it, it, it. It's nice thing is it tells you which ones you've already got. So it tells you when there's an update available as well if you're looking on here. But if you're not looking on the web page and you want to know if there's an update, you just go to your, your Vortex here. So we'll go to Preview Garrisons, right click, check for update. There's not an update for it. When there is one, it will give you a little download symbol here. And you would click that download symbol and it will open up uh, a browser page for you to go download it yourself. And then it will you, you'll use the mod manager download. Right? So I don't want that to be Fallout 76. What the fuck is that? Alright, it's not for Bannerlord. So but anyways, you would that's not going to work at all. Actually, let's go like this. Sure. Bannerlord tweaks. So we would we would go to the mod page, go to files, right, and go mod manager download. And it will ask you if that's okay. You click slow download because that's free. Right. You would click slow download. It's going to ask me if I want to do that. Because it's going to open it with Vortex. And I'm going to go new. Because I've already got that here. Somewhere. I right, load tweaks. Probably at the top. Yep. And I have the newest version, of course. But, but that's about it. Um, you install it. You enable it once it's installed, right? So go character export import. If it's disabled, it will not show up in your launcher. So you want that enabled after you install it. And if it's not installed, it'll uh, look like this, right? So that's uninstalled. So you got to install it, then enable it. And it'll give you the option up here to do, if you install a bunch of them at once, to install them all at once. Um, but then you'll still have to dip out of here. And activate it in your launcher. This is the new launcher, right? The latest version that I showed you guys in that last video I did anyway. It does work. So if you're having a problem getting it to start, it's either you don't have the latest version or another mod that's fucking up your shit. Uh, where is it here? Fixed launcher, right? 2.0. Right. So, and you have the option to sort your mods, which will completely uncheck everything. So I have a few of these unchecked already because I don't want to load them because they're I'm waiting for them to get updated more so they can work properly with other mods and shit. But you would go sort mods and that'll arrange them all nicely to load for you. And you can check off all the ones you want. Right? And yes, I do have a lot. Oh, that's not good. That shouldn't... See, that that's, that shouldn't be there like that. Um, oh wait, actually, it's a different mod. Never mind. I was going to say that's two of the same, so that would cause some problems most likely. looking mod um, but it doesn't seem to be ready yet and I don't feel like dealing with its other problems if it's not going to be ready yeah I always shut it down unexpectedly that's, that's okay um, I will be making a video shortly showing you guys how to edit weapons and items in Bannerlord. So if you want to make your armor have more armor, you know, make it have head armor, make it have leg armor, add that in or take that out, change the values of it, change its weight, change the look of the fabric on it. I'm going to show you guys how to do all that. Um, same thing with weapons and even crafted weapons with the assist of one of these mods here. You can swap out and edit your crafted weapons stats 
Um, I don't know if you edit the appearance of how much that will change, but it's not something I'm attempting to fuck with just yet. But possibly in the future, we'll see. Um, and then I'm going to try to get into creating custom troops and show you guys how to go through one by one and uh, design your own troops, their, their stats, their builds, all that kind of shit. So stick around, stay close, we'll uh, subscribe, and I'll get that out there to you eventually. Um, once this loads, I'll just show you that you can for sure run around. And that's even with like the shit ton of mods that I got too. So you can see it over there, giving me a bunch of bunch of stats. Fucks up my, my game here. Do that before I get fucking copyrighted. Okay, so, yep, working just fine. Loaded my game just fine with that mod launcher. Let's see if we can actually get into a battle without dying. But yeah, that's it. And I will be, like I said, showing you guys how to uh, fuck with your files a lot more and mod it yourself so you're not like looking through the nexus or other places trying to get what you want done be able to do it yourself but uh, this is just so you can see how to be downloading other mods I, I did get a few people asking me so hopefully this helps you guys out and uh, this should be simple enough each mod page will have installation directions if you need to manually do it yourself but I will make a video just walking people through that because I know it can be overwhelming and frustrating at times yeah, get into the game just fine. It's always laggy as fuck when I'm recording. Really bad, actually. But it was like this with Warband as well. I'm using a controller in case you're wondering why my aim is so that, oh, of course, that's that tree is solid though. <laughs> Just killed one of my own guys there. <laughs> um, that was another teammate got speared in the back again. And that just didn't even count. But alright. So yeah, that works too. 
That's about as easy as it is, guys. Um, obviously, you'll want to be downloading your shit his mods, especially this one that gives you unlimited prisoner count, because that's worth it. But yeah, subscribe. Uh, I will show you much more interesting stuff, just like my previous videos for Warband. But uh, yeah, thanks again.